How about the future for open innovation? If you had a crystal ball, if you were looking down the road 10, 15, 20 years from now, where do you see it going? So let me give you a short term and a long term answer. In the short term, open innovation is moving from in collaborating between individual firms or uh, organizations to collaboration throughout an entire ecosystem of companies, developers, third parties, users, suppliers, uh, a very rich, multifaceted thing. Uh, this has actually been labeled Open Innovation 2.0 by the European Commission, which has really gotten behind this as part of their policy going forward. So in the short term, uh, it's easy to say, because it's already starting to happen, this is where open innovation is going. In the longer term, I think open innovation might follow a path like that of the quality revolution. In the 1980s, the U.S. companies woke up to the gap with Japan and how much more reliable many Japanese products were relative to U.S. products, and so U.S. companies really embraced quality as a strategic imperative. And they had quality departments, quality organizations, and they embedded in the companies uh, a real need to do this well from the very beginning of the design, not just inspecting at the end of the process. But today, most of those quality organizations are gone. The thinking is there, but now it's embedded in how the company does business, so you no longer need the quality department overseeing all this. That's a possible long-term future for open innovation. Openness is not going to go away, but it may become part of the fabric of the company. And instead of today having open innovation departments and people with titles of manager of open innovation, director of open innovation, and my personal favorite, vice president of open innovation, in 30 years, those titles may be gone. Those organizations may be gone. And this may just be part of how companies do business.